Let's select this cannon again. I'll click out here in the background. This is the transparent area, as you can see right there on the layer. And let's inverse that. Now, whenever you use the magic wand to make this kind of a selection, you don't always get the best edge on this. And you can control or adjust that edge using the edge selection or the edge refine edge tool. Let's just zoom in right to here. And that's this one, refine edge. This brings up a nice little dialog box. Now we're looking at just the one selection in here. And I have a tool right here which allowed me to come in and actually refine the edge radius tool or erase the refinement. So I can come in here and I can actually try to adjust the, using this tool, adjust what I'm working with just like that. Let's just undo that. Or I can use a smart radius so it does any better job. It, it'll depend upon what your edge is like, whether it's not going to be working for you or not. You can try to adjust the radius of the edge just by pulling that over right there. And so that actually expanded that out a little ways. Let me bring that in a bit. So if you need to have it, your selection is just a little larger, you can go ahead and do this, expand your radius out. Or you can try to adjust the edge, the quality of the edge right along in there. Let's try smoothing it down a little bit. I'll smooth it down to a setting of three. There we go, just kind of smooth that edge just a little bit, making a little nicer looking edge. Let's try, try one. And try two. There we go, like two is real nice. Because there's a real nice little edge in there. Let me grab the hand tool here. And that's a nice clean edge around that. Let's put this back to no smoothing. You can see it's kind of jagged on that edge in there. That jaggedness was caused by the magic wand and the way it selected that. So if I just do a little smoothing of two in here, it just smooths out some of that jagged edge, making for a little better cut. We also can feather the edge. That makes the edge a little transparent. As you can see there, a little bit of a transparency. Sometimes this will help you blend content into another layer. We can adjust the contrast of the edge in here. So you can get a little more contrast if I want. You can go back and forth on all these things. We also can shift the edge back and forth. Either shift it out a little ways. If you need a little more like that. Or we can shift it in. Actually move it inside the image just a little bit. And finally, little output down here, decontaminate colors. What this does is if I was grabbing this out of a background, let's say I was grabbing out of a white background or out of a black background or something, I might get a little bit of the haloing effect on that. I already took a look at how to try to remove some of that with some masking, or matting rather. But you also can use decontaminate colors and it will try to come in and actually change the color pixels along the edge if the pixels don't match the object. It will actually try to blend the colors of the edge. Real nice little technique. You can then output that to a new layer with layer mask. When you've had all your settings ready to go, just go ahead and choose OK. And there we go. There's our new layer with a new layer mask. And this mask is what we just adjusted. Let's just see the difference in here. There's the original. A little bit of a hard edge in there. And here's a new one. A little softer along that edge. So definitely an improvement in the look of the edge of that selection just by using that refine mask tool right there. Let's just come back down to here. And actually to even see that I need to again select, so let's just select here, invert that. Now that I have my selection we can then see it as there it is, the refine edge tool right there. Very nice tool for doing a little bit of an additional cleanup on the edge of your selection before you go ahead and make that selection.